Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. Do you think there's any available 9mm that could penetrate a level 3 rifle plate? I'm kind of curious about that myself too. Well, I've got a level 3 rifle plate here. This is actually level 3 plus. I'm guessing the plus rating is probably from the 556 by 45 55 grain full metal jacket. This is from Shot Stop. This is their model D1652 PCS model. This is a 100% pure polyethylene. It is single curve, very lightweight. We're gonna test some really oddball 9mm loads that a couple collectors have sent me. One in particular is a tungsten core 9mm DM91. It's a German round. Mr. Mark L sent that to me to test. So we've been trying to think of what we could test that against since we know in the past some of our specialty 9mm such as M39B and the Czech steel core can penetrate lesser level 3A rigid panels. So we have our clay briefcase that you can see right there. It's nice and flat. We're at about 15 feet, which is typically where you see pistol rounds tested. We don't need to move this back to 45 feet and watch me struggle to hit precision areas on this large target. It is about 90 degrees outside today, so you can see I have my tent there so we'll be a little on the green side but don't worry I'm plenty hydrated and healthy. We have our CZ Scorpion Evo 3 with the 7.72 inch barrel so we're going to get maximum velocity. I don't have the 16 inch anymore so we'll probably have to request that at some point again so we have 16 inch so our CZ will give us very good velocities. We'll set up for the testing and we'll get to some shooting. Typically with the different types of body armor, you need various bullet compositions to defeat it. With a polyethylene, they can take a lot of speed, but when you introduce harder materials such as tungsten or steel, then they have a problem. For example, M855 can penetrate polyethylene plates, but M193, which is a full metal jacket, lead core round, can't. But on the reverse side, a steel plate can stop the M855 or even the newer M855A1 if it's going slow enough. But it has problems with full power M193 from a 16 inch barrel. So some of these 9mm loads may be a little redundant and they're probably going to you know, assume it's going to stop it. But I want to kind of build up to testing this particular tungsten core round. So I think first we'll start with our Fort Scott Munitions solid copper spun 80 grain load. This has pretty good velocity and in the past has shown to penetrate certain level 3A plates. We'll go for the upper left of the plate. 1554 and I forgot my hearing protection. That was loud. We'll shoot some L7A1. This is some really hot, just lead core, nine millimeter. This probably should stop it without issue. Now that I have my hearing protection back on. Velocity, 1387. Now we have some Czech steel core. We've tested this little silver guy in the past. This is 105 grains, going pretty fast. We'll shoot below the Fort Scott munitions. Velocity 1291. Now our THV 9mm. This has a really interesting bullet design. This is the one that we tested against the Militech helmet, and that helmet stopped it. We'll see what the velocity we get out of the Evo gets us. Not sure if this is going to shoot low or high. So we'll aim a little on the low side. Velocity 2233. Cool. That's smoking hot. Now our Swedish M39B. This has a very thick magnetic steel bimetal jacket that's very thick at the top. Velocity 
Velocity 1350. And now for one I've never tested before. This is CBAP Mark II. I'm gonna guess this has some kind of steel core. I'll try to find maybe a cutaway from Kevin Gross and put it down here. If not, I'll do a picture in picture of what I have for macros. Velocity 1433. Let's go see what we did so far before we build up to our finale, the DM91. Kind of hard to write on black, but here was our Fort Scott munitions. Here was our L7A1. Here was our Czech steel core. Here was our THV. Here was our M39B. And here was our CBAP more than two inches apart for each one of those. I'll consider that a fair hit. I apologize if the camera shakes too much. I'm doing this by myself today, or at least right now I am. Any takers? Hey! No pass-throughs. I'm kind of disappointed. I would have figured maybe the steel core had a chance. So I guess our buildup for the DM91 will be well worth it. We just have very minor dimples on the back here. The clay is soft enough that it's giving us a little good representation of back face. Although I didn't build up the clay for the curve. This was here from prior testing. So we're just using this as a compressible media so that the bullet has somewhere to impact into. Let's do the DM91 test. Okay, moment of truth. Our DM91. This is a tungsten core, nine millimeter round. I only have one of these. Hopefully I don't mess this up. These are very hard to come by in the States. I'm obviously not going to pull this to take macros of it, so I'll have to put a picture in picture from, I do believe, Mr. Kevin Gross has sectioned one of these before. If not, maybe Mark has. Can this penetrate level 3? Now, just in case it did, or does, I should say, I put a level 3, just a, a standard Kevlar air mid fiber panel behind it to see it does penetrate if it catches it. Velocity 1600. All right, everybody. Here is our shot right here. We are more than two inches away from these subsequent shots that this is a fair hit, especially on polyethylene. You don't have a ceramic strike face that you're degrading typically. So two inches is more than enough for a fair hit. What do you guys think? Comments below. It's gonna be hard to see. Let me get this angle here. Let me zoom in, try to zoom on this gimbal. But there is a hole in that plate. And in our clay, what do you see there? A hole penetrated right through our air mid fiber, although we were really close to a previous shot there but it went through. I'll have to see if we can dig that out, but there you go. Can nine millimeter penetrate a level three hard armor plate? Yes, but it has to be a really expensive tungsten core round that you literally cannot get in the US. Give me a second and I'll see if I can dig that sucker out of there. Well, Mark, I hope that answers your question. That DM91 is no joke. 
right through this all polyethylene level three. Now, when you step up to a level three plus or a level three with a ceramic strike face or potentially a level three steel, all of these results go out the window and would need to be individually tested to see what that particular medium is going to do against that bullet. But very interesting indeed, although your chance of running into such a round in the US is going to be very, very slim. I tore my clay briefcase apart for about 10 minutes trying to find that round. I know it's in there somewhere. I didn't see it go out the back of the wood anywhere, but it's entirely possible it did. I'd like to thank ShotStop for sending us some personal protection equipment for us to torture. My Patreon supporters, I'll put that link down there in the description below. So if you want to throw a dollar a month my way or whatever, it's greatly appreciated. And of course, you all for watching. Until next time, catch at the range. Thank <laughs> you.